welcome to the Gupan. You could have gathered in another city, in another province, for this World Singles Con Congress, but you have chosen us, and we are very grateful because your coming is a blessing for the Gupan. Your coming is a blessing for me. You have come together to strengthen our resolve to be firm in the faith, to be founded on love. This is the will of God, not only for singles, not only for children, not only for married people, but for everybody. But the question needs to be asked, my dear young people, what kind of faith? Because there are different kinds of faith. And you better be sure that you are firm in the right, in the correct faith. What is wrong faith? There is a faith that is called dead faith. That is what the Apostle James calls faith without works is dead. So be careful because you might be saying, I have faith, but you have no action. You have no life. You have no fruit. That is dead faith. And it is not our will and we cannot be proud to have dead faith. The second type of wrong faith is demonic faith. The demon has faith also. You remember in the Gospels, the demon called Jesus, Jesus, Son of God. Are you here to torment us? That is the faith of a demon. A faith that recognizes but a faith that does not follow. You know, in the Middle Ages, there was an abbot named Abbot Apollos. And the devil appeared to him in a dream, actually while praying. And the devil looked like the person beside you now. Except, except, that when the eye started to look down on the body of the devil, the body of the demon, Abbot Apollo saw that the demon had no knees. In other words, his bone was straight from the hip to the ankle. What is the consequence? The devil cannot kneel. The devil can say, Jesus is Lord, but the devil will not kneel because the devil is proud. It is demonic faith. The third type of faith is vain faith. Vain faith. What do we mean by vain faith? It is this faith that says, I go to church, I obey the commandments, I donate to the church, I am active in the community, and therefore, God owes me heaven. He better be careful because I am good. He better be careful because I pray. He better be careful because I donate. That is faith. But that is vain faith. Because that faith does not look at God. The faith looks at your good deeds in quotation marks. And you make your faith a business transaction. I am good, therefore God owes me something. Is your faith dead? Or demonic? Or vain? We must be firm in the faith that saves. Saving faith. What is saving faith? It is trusting in Jesus it is making Jesus number one. It is making Jesus your everything, your everyone, your everywhere. But what kind of faith will save? There can be no salvation without love. My dear young people, in the words 
of St. John of the Cross. He said, at the sunset of life, we will be judged according to love. So if you say in the Gopan, we want to be firm in faith and we want to be founded on love, what kind of faith? It must be faith with love. It must be faith in love. It must be faith through love. Because faith without love will not be able to save you. So what kind of love? I'll tell you a story. Saint Teresa de Jesus was praying one morning and the devil appeared to her disguised as Jesus. Same beard, same robes, same long hair, everything was the same, and the voice sounded familiar like the voice of Jesus. But after talking to the devil disguised as Jesus, Teresa exclaimed, You are not my Lord! And the devil asked, Yes, but how did you know? Teresa said, My Lord has wounds. You have no wounds. You are not my Lord. My Lord has wounds. You have no wounds. You are not my Lord. Translating that into our lives, I now ask you, do you have wounds? Are you wounded for love? Because if you are not wounded for love, then your love must be fake. Because all lovers get wounded. If you don't like to get wounded, if you don't like to get hurt, very simple, don't love. Don't love anyone. Don't love your pet. Don't love money. Don't love anything. Just don't love. Believe me, you will not be hurt. But slowly, you will turn to stone. Because stones cannot love. All love is painful. And all lovers get wounded. Today, I ask you, if you are really founded on love, where are your wounds? And then Teresa came down from the convent one morning and saw a little boy playing in the convent. It was a monastery for sisters and there should be no children. At that time, Teresa was already getting depressed, getting confused, getting hurt because she felt she was being persecuted and the church did not understand or was not supporting her enough. In that distress, in that dryness, in that confusion, in that loneliness, the boy was there in the convent playing. So Teresa greeted the boy and said, Buenos dias. My name is Teresa de Jesus. What is your name? And the boy said, Buenos dias. My name is Jesus de Teresa. You are Teresa of Jesus. You say you belong to me. I am Jesus of Teresa. I say I belong to you. Do not be sad. Do not be happy because I love you. My family name is different from your family name because we have different brothers. We have different fathers. We have different parents. We come from different families. But the reality, my dear brothers and sisters, young people of the world, the truth is all of us belong to Jesus. And today, 
Jesus loving you says to you, I am Jesus of Michael. I am Jesus of Anthony. I am Jesus of Miriam. I am Jesus of Sharon. You belong to me. I belong to you. I love you. I, I love you every day. Pinipili kitang mahalin araw-araw. Ano pa ang gugustuhin mo? Today, for the next three days, let us choose the faith that saves. And today, for the rest of our, until the rest of our lives, let us choose the faith with love that saves. The faith with love that is not afraid of getting hurt. The faith with love that allows itself to be possessed by Jesus, to be embraced by Jesus. And nothing can be better than that. Firm in faith, founded on love. Firm in the Lord, rooted in the Lord. Amen.